Alrighty, welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to Speedrun Ragnarok, brought to you by the RPG Valkyries. On that last run, we had a duck going on adventures, and on our run coming up right now, we have a duck detective solving crimes. So, let's toss it on over to the wonderful Selkuth Mine for Duck Detective, the Secret Salami. Well, hello, everyone. I hope you are ready to solve a mystery, because there are crimes afoot. We shall solve those in a minute, though. My name is Salkuth Mind. I will be your guide through this wonderful delight of a game full of puns and silly fun. Uh, and joining me on commentary, I have... Oh, I am Cuzrule21. Uh, we have traded the dog in for a duck. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What could possibly go wrong? Uh, you know, many things who are wrong. I also hear that uh, we're going to be knocking over some trash cans, thanks to everyone's generosity in getting those donations in. So uh, we're going to have some extra chaos. Uh, briefly, if you don't know this game, uh, it might look like a point and click. It's not really. It's more of like a narrative adventure story. Um, but we're going to we're going to jump into it here in just a moment. We're going to delete our save file. And uh, we're just going to go into detector mode. Oh, all right. Time will begin in three, two, one, go. All right. So first thing to do, there's a lot of text we got to mash through. Uh, you're going to hear a lot of probably clicking uh, both of my mouse and my keyboard because I am double inputting. Um, this is just how it goes. Uh, so anyways, this is the duck detective, Eugene McQuacken. And he uh, formerly was a detective with the uh, police force, but you know, he is no longer uh, no longer employed by them. So he's become a detective. And as we saw their little tutorial where we learned uh, how to input things. Um, yeah, he's got a bread problem. This is very sad. Bread is not good for ducks. Uh, do not feed Look, ducks bread. Who doesn't have a bread problem these days? Come on. I'm, I mean, so, <laughs> so true. Um, but anyways, we get a call there. Um, he thought it was his ex. No, turns out it wasn't his ex. It is, in fact, um, someone calling him to come to the Bear Bus office to investigate the crime of a missing lunch. And oh, uh, we're going to get some more monologuing because, of course, very film noir. We have to knock over that trash can quickly. All right, so we're going to actually learn about our first in-game mechanic. Oops, hit the wrong button. There we go. And we're going to learn how to invest inspect. So we're going to investigate here. Um, now, there's two main ways we gather information in this game in order to fill out uh, that form like you saw earlier in the tutorial. There's the investigations, which are very slow because we have to gather all of the clues that are present. And then there are talking to people. So we want to talk as much as we can rather than um, investigate, uh, because sometimes we can get words in multiple places. And uh, so we've carefully routed it out to uh, take the faster options when we can. And here we're just gathering lots of information. This is a very information heavy area. Um, game, don't make me do that yet. So there we go. All right. While we're investigating this next thing, um, Cubs, how how you doing? What do you think? What do you think is gonna happen? Are we gonna find the missing lunch? Look, I heard the word lunch and just got hung up on food, so now I'm hungry. Um, I, should be I hope we find that lunch. I need to eat. <laughs> so true. I also need to eat. But first, we're gonna meet Sophie Wintheimer, and uh, we're gonna discover that Sophie is feeling sad because nobody has remembered her birthday. <gasps> yes. How dare! So we're going to talk to her, and we're going to uh, have the option to wish her a happy birthday. Uh, which uh, means that uh, she's going to give us the key to the office. That's that's how everyone gets into their into an office, right? Right? I mean, we Except proved that we're a detective. D true, true. Uh, we made some very good deductions. And yes, in the game they are called deductions. You did hear that pun correctly. 
Anyways, now we're gonna meet some more characters in the office. Uh, this is uh, this is the boss, and he uh, he seems very chill about the fact that there's a uh, missing um, <laughs> that there's a missing lunch. He seems very calm about this fact. Um, anyways, we're gonna uh, go investigate some things. We have this lovely map to look at. Um, we've got some places. Hollandaise, escargot, bretzel, and salsicia. That is that is how you say it according to the voice acting of this game. Um, yes, I double checked that. Uh, we're gonna learn more about Freddy later. Freddy's a character and a half. Anyways, we gotta knock over all the trash cans. We're gonna do this as I go by. Uh, now we gotta. Uh, this is the only time we're gonna interrogate. There is technically a third method um, of gaining information. It's called interrogation. This is the only time we will see it uh, because it's very slow. All right. Uh, now we're gonna talk to the computer. Don't worry about that. It's fine. I talk to my computer all the time. Don't you? Yes. Yeah. Uh, voice activation used to be a thing. True. 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 Anyways, we investigated that computer, uh, and we're gonna uh, now go look at this very sad employee of the month poster. Uh, while we're doing that, three pup, do you have any uh, quick messages for us? Yeah, uh, I just wanted to again remind people that our donation incentives uh, for the run coming up right after this, we have that incentive to take for have Alf take the cat to the moon, and I know. Enough about Elf to know that Elf can definitely be trusted with cats. So if you want to see that, please get your donations in. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And uh, as you may have seen there, oh, wow, game, so rude. It kicked me out. That has never happened before. Anyways, uh, in the loading scene there, uh, if you saw it, uh, it said that ducks, uh, most ducks don't file their taxes. It's okay. It's fine. Ducks don't need to file taxes. Um, and anyways, we're... Feel differently. <laughs> we are uh, here investigating the uh, branch manager. And we are going to uh, look at this family portrait. Look at the look at these baby cubs. Aren't they so cute? Aren't they cute? Oh, wait. What? 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 Hmm? Don't. No, nothing there. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Why is... Hmm. To totally normal to have... Everyone has hinges, right? Everyone yep. has hinges on their paintings. That's totally normal. All of my all of my paintings have hinges. Um, we are going to do a quick little dump of information here because we need to do this in order to gain access to our next area. Learn about more of the characters. And Sophie is the receptionist. Manfred is the branch manager. Laura works in customer service. And then Freddy works in the operating office. And now we're going to go to the kitchen because that is uh, where all food crimes occur. Um, and uh, we also learned that there are over a thousand ducks. So true. Yeah, I guess that is true. Very true. Anyways, we have two more characters. Um, they are in play, play the game if you want to learn about these characters. They are very interesting, uh, very interesting creatures. Uh, and it, the game is fully voice acted. The voice acting is very good. We just don't get to appreciate that in the run, because, you know, who has time for text? Anyways, we're going to talk briefly to this individual. Uh, she's very curious about how many dead bodies we've seen, but you know what? We, we, we enforce our boundaries and we say, no, thank you. We don't want to talk about that. Anyways, uh, the Salami Bandit was here and stole the lunch. They seem to like it. They left a very nice note. So considerate of them. And we're going to do another investigation here. And we're actually coming up to the first skip of the game. Um, very minor skip, but we discovered that if you do things in a certain order, uh, you can actually have the game teleport you through um, the use of uh, cutscenes. So you no longer have to go through um, certain... Uh, Oh, that's incorrect. Also, I need to do this first. So Laura hired because lunch was stolen by the Salami Bandit. There we go. 
And because of that, it's actually faster to have the cutscene teleport me out to this room than it is to walk through the loading zone. Which is why we do it in that order. Now we're gonna go outside. Um, it's raining, of course. Also, ducks were the first species to abolish the monarchy. Oh, good for them. Cold. We lost out on a duck fact by taking the teleport. This is true. This is true. We we get fewer duck facts oh. this way, but we save we save a good chunk of time. Loading zones. Who has time for loading zones in a speedrun? Um, as we're gonna do another investigation. Meet our final character. This is a Boris. We're gonna learn more about Boris later. Boris has a sad fate in the speedruns. Anyways, it is now time for us to, uh... I had to think for a second about character names. Uh, solve a whole bunch of puzzles. So, uh, we get to say that Margaret the Sheep works in customer service, Rufus the janitor, uh, Boris the buffalo is the bus driver. Now the all right, and then we discover that Margaret is planning a surprise uh, birthday party for Sophie. So Sophie doesn't have to be sad. We're gonna celebrate her birthday. Just it's a surprise. And we learn that Freddy is being framed by the salami bandit because Freddy picked up the wrong bag. Yes, that's right. So I, if you maybe noticed when I talked to Freddy the crocodile. Uh, there was a bag sitting beside his desk, as we're going to learn in this cutscene. Um, he just picked up the wrong one. He picked up the one that belonged to the salami bandit, uh, which was uh, full of salami. Shocking, I know. The shock. The salami bandit decided to frame him. Everyone! All right, and that's the end of Act One. Now we go into Act Two, and uh, chat. Get ready to say surprise! Happy birthday! All right, so if he's gonna open some presents, and she's got some nice presents, and then oh wait, what? Huh? What? She got a box of salami? Huh? Oh. Hmm. Anyways, Sophie received a plushie from Laura, a book from Rufus, a necklace from Boris. And uh, if you talked to everyone, you would you would discover that they think something got stolen, but we discover that actually nothing was stolen. She just got a bonus present from uh, the Salami Bandit. Everyone likes bonus presents, right? Um, just maybe not with notes signed Sarane, Sai, 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 Sayonara, Edgelords. And addressed to everyone. What a weird message. What a strange message. Anyways, we don't have time to worry about that. Because we gotta go uh, crack open um, a password on a computer. Also, there's no ducks on the moon. Chat, did, for the moon. chat did you chat, chat did you know that? Uh, don't don't worry about how we knew that was purple-eyed aliens. Um play the game and discover how we know that piece of information. It's it is certainly was one of the wildest moments uh, in this game in ter uh, casually for me. Where's the- there it is. Sometimes the game does not register very well. Uh, I'm trying to think where I need to go. Uh, I need to go outside. Don't mind me with a brief routing memory blip there. All right. We're going to investigate this, and we're almost done Act 2, believe it or not, chat. Um, in the speedrun, we have optimized Act 2 of 3 uh, so much that Act 2 is maybe like two minutes long. Um, I do promise you casually it's much longer and has some really cool content. But we're going to discover that Sophie received a silly letter containing a scary message. And we discover that salamis are being illegally imported from Sausicia. Wait a no, second. I, Wait a second. I told you that the only crime was was being was a stolen lunch. Well, I'm sorry, chat. I lied to you. My apologies. There's actually a bigger crime. Salamis are being imported illegally. Yes. 
Wow, can't believe Cell lied to us. I know. <laughs> Anyways, as we're ready to go into Act 3, 3 Pup, do you have any more messages for us? Yeah, I just wanted to quickly shout out again. RPG Valkyries. Uh, RPG Valkyries are a inclusive group of female and femme leading speedrunners who all love and run RPGs. If you'd like to join their Discord, please use exclamation point Discord with link in chat. Discord is open to all people and all genders. Well, let's head back to Cell. Awesome. Um, so at the very end of that cutscene, we discovered that the that note signed Saranara Edgelords uh, actually had a secret message that said, um, be quiet or else. So Sophie's being threatened. And now, Sophie's not in this meeting. Sophie's Sophie's definitely okay though, right? Right? Yeah. Right? Absolutely. Yeah, so Sophie's fine. Totally fine. Definitely nothing bad has happened to Sophie. That trash can, on the other hand, seems like it needs talking to. Uh -huh. I do need to go talk to that trash can, which is perfect because I gotta go talk talk to Freddy over here. Uh, if you'll let me out the way. There we go. Uh, there's the achievement, Rage Uncaged, which tells me that we have knocked over all of them. All right, and now we're gonna go. Um, remember, remember that hinged painting? Remember that hinged painting, everyone? Well, we're gonna. No. We're, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. We're we're gonna we're gonna um. Finally. Man, we're gonna uh, to go open. Uh, we're gonna open this uh, safe. And uh, there we go. Wow! How did you know that combination? Uh, That's so good. Don't don't worry about it. Oh, All right, and we're gonna get the server room key. Ooh, we get to go to another area of the map, everyone. Yeah, I, I, I think Cell might be the Slami Bandit. She knows too many things. No. Who's suspicious? Never me. Definitely not me. I am merely the detective. I am solving mm -hmm. this mysterious crime. That's the brilliant cover. <laughs> Alright, now we gotta go uh, look at a computer which... Uh, if you've been enjoying this run, uh, and you're on Blue Sky, um, pay careful attention. Duck Detective is on Blue Sky. Uh, and all they've ever posted is quite literally the two messages that are present here in the game. Uh, but they do have a Blue Sky presence uh, if you're over there and you would like to follow them. Anyways, now that we've looked at that computer, we're gonna go out here and we're gonna discover- Oh no, Sophie is missing! So we're gonna go here to this room with the yeah, stay out sign. Sophie's, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Also, did you know that ducks are excellent skateboarders? I did, in fact. I just learned that right now. <laughs> Very interesting. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna search one more computer. Uh, we discovered that vouchers are being sold. Oh. Um. Someone's not very good with computers. They don't know how to d delete their uh, seller history. And uh, a video for uh, the bus. The and now I'm going to solve a whole bunch of puzzles really fast. So, Sophie has been kidnapped because Sophie wanted to snitch. And we discover that Rufus has been blackmailing Manfred to stay quiet about Rufus illegally selling vouchers. And we discover that Margaret is the one who provides the vouchers to Rufus. There's multiple crimes occurring in this office. This is just this is just a a, a place of place of crimes. It's a conspiracy. Mm -hmm. We weren't hired for any of this. We just care about the lunch, right? We were just here for the lunch, but you know what? We are cracking a bunch of cases in. Um, we are we are cracking all sorts of cases. Uh, and we discover, actually, that Manfred is Slami Bandit because the uh, Slami Bandit and his handwriting are identical. Was that who you thought was the Slami Bandit, uh, Three Pup? I... I mean, I had my suspicions, but they just, they just, deduct, they just the detectives just better than me at deductions. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And we discover that Boris is the Sami Bandit's accomplice because Boris, as a bus driver, is able to assist with uh, importing. And Sophie is the other uh, accomplice because uh, they needed someone who could convince Ruf or not Rufus, uh, Boris into helping. Um, and Boris and Sophie used to date. Anyways, now we have the biggest teleport and uh, we're suddenly outside. That saved us three loading zones and a uh, cutscene. Uh, so we are very proud of that skip in the community. Uh, it saves us uh, quite a bit of time. Anyways, everyone comes out here, discovers that Sophie had been stuffed, had been stuffed into the bus. And now it's the end of act three. Had their budget cut as a result. And I guess we are going to, um, worried about the financial we're going to go for the fastest option. Felt himself backed into a corner. We have to. Um, when he became you know what? Three pup, who should we arrest? Manfred, Sophie, or Boris? Uh, he couldn't do this alone. Uh, I feel like Manfred. He Manfred? Okay. Yeah. Since it would be easiest for so, the bus driver. uh, here we're, we're learning the story of, of how it works and who's doing what. Uh, the fastest option is to just arrest Boris, sadly. Uh, the slowest option, by like three seconds, is to arrest Manfred. Because Manfred likes to talk. <laughs> but that's okay. My estimate has lots of extra time. And casually, most people choose to arrest Manfred, as we'll learn at the, uh, there's a stat screen at the end of the game. Anyways, time will be coming up fairly soon once this cutscene finishes. Um, I've got just a couple more inputs. That's me. Infiltrated the office. That's him. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Ah, <laughs> uh, yes, they were attempting to frame Freddy, uh, for the crime, but we, we, we saw right through that. Um, and because we were so nice to Sophie, she... You know, got nervous and wanted to to snitch. So you know, they were uh, trying to avoid her uh, snitching on them. That's not very cool. All right, it is time to arrest. All right, we're arresting Manfred as per three preps request. We are not arresting Sophie, and we are not arresting Boris. All right, now. We're going to announce who we are going to tell the police to arrest. Um, we learn about like all sorts of like embezzlement and fraud in this cutscene. It's wild. Anyways, and that is time. Uh, the truth. The truth. Thank you. Thank you. Um, this cutscene actually changes depending on who you arrest. You can arrest all three of them. Uh, you must arrest at least one, but you can arrest up to all three of them. And depending who you arrest, they're all there in the cut in that final cutscene um and every single one of them you'll see um there's a there's an animation for them getting handcuffed it's a beautiful little detail they added here's the stats most people uh arrest manfred um but the technically correct one is boris because he's just a quiet soul and he doesn't put much up of much of a fight or argument up so but yeah that is the Duck Detective, the secret salami, uh, very silly game. Um, the speedrun is a ton of fun, but it does not do the game justice. It is, as I said, fully voice acted, uh, as you'll see as we go through the credits. They've got an incredible cast of voice actors. Uh, and also there's some incredible like side content and all sorts of like little details to the story that just build out a really, really beautiful, rich world. Uh, so seriously, go check this game out. Uh, it's, I think, very accessible in price. It's not very expensive, but it's a beautiful game. Uh, and it sounds like the devs might potentially release a sequel in the not near future, but I think they are seriously considering a sequel because it's so good. So come check out the game. It's very good. Um, also come join the speedruns if you want. Um, we've got any percent and we also have a trash can percent, which is uh, knocking over all the trash cans. So thank you once again for donating for getting the trash cans knocked over. 
They but... deserved it. They know what they did. <laughs> it added some chaos to the to the run. We have a little post scene cutscene that all at play as we do shout outs. Um, it's been such a long day after all. Fre Freddy is a Freddy's a character. Um, but uh, Cubs, where can folks find you? Come on. Uh, Cubs rule twitch.tv slash Cubs rule twenty one. Uh, I I uh, helped still so, uh, originally route this. It's such a fun game. Please, please come, uh, please come speed run this. <laughs> it's very fun. It's a great time. Um, if you want to see more of me, you can find me on Twitch at Selkuthmind or all my socials uh, over on my website, selkuthmind.neocities.org. Uh, you can also find me here again at this event uh, on Tuesday. I believe I'm kicking off Rhythm Block, uh, be showcasing a wonderful rhythm game I love dearly called Spin Rhythm XD. Uh, so come check out that run. It's going to be a great time. Um, and yeah, continue donating. Take this as a fantastic cause and uh, very excited to be here uh, participating. So thank you to the Valkyries for having me. Alrighty, and thank you, Sal, for that great run. Uh, we'll be we will be right back. With